Well, it should be. Uh, I'm open. Uh, I think we should respond somehow. Uh, let's do, yeah, here's Canada. Go ahead. And then, and then I'll wrap it up. Temple Lowe's, right here. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. What, I mean, it was so generalized. And uh, to be fair, uh, Michael Persico's research has been criticized by neuroscientists. Uh, like, where, for example, in the natural environment, would you get electromagnetic fields like that? Uh, I mean, most of the time, you know, these electromagnetic fields, they dissipate with the square of the distance. So if, you're, if your cell phone is even this far versus here, you know, it's a huge drop off in the amount of energy. So, uh, I mean, one theory he had was earthquake faults maybe generate a lot of electromagnetic fields, which would go a long way to explaining Southern California weirdness. <laughs> uh, you had a response to that? Yeah. yeah. Right. Could be an individual thing. Yeah. That's right. It could be self-generated. I think much of it is self-generated, for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, being skeptical of current scientific consensus, uh, necessarily useful or to the science of mind? Wait, say it again? Being skeptical of yeah. current scientific consensus. Yeah. Is that necessary and useful or is that something that... So being skeptical of current scientific consensus, say global warming. Yes. yes. I think it's okay to be skeptical of global warming. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I'm a denier. <laughs> now look, uh, you know, I think there's room for debates on certain parts of the issue, and that should be true for any scientific. Okay, so here's the thing. I mean, in, a, in, a, in any given paradigm with the scientific community that works in that field, you really kind of have to know the rules of the game and, 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 and participate uh, in the peer review system or so on. It, it, and so those who, who are outside, it's not that they can't make a contribution. It's just that they usually don't know what's already been done. So when people write, people write me all the time, well, I have this new theory of physics. I get them every week. <laughs> you know, Newton was wrong, Einstein was wrong, Feynman was wrong, I got this new theory of quantum gravity. Yeah. And there's no equations, it's just like a single space type thing you, you did over the weekend. And, uh, and, and, and I say, well, look, uh, have you sent it to like a physicist or a pure, oh, they're so closed minded, you know, they're flat -minded. They won't accept it, it's too radical. It's like, if that were true, we never learn anything in science. It's not true. It's just that we're by nature conservative because there's so many goofy ideas. That we start off with the null hypothesis, whatever you think is true isn't. Now, the burden of proof is on you to overturn the null hypothesis. Show us that it is true. Show us your data. Run the experiment. Then we'll pay attention. If not, well, you know, get back to us when you got to. All right. So, anyway, well, thank you so much for having me.